So, how are y'all doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Actually, I have had more requests for the ARC copy of A Toddling Mystery than any of my new releases yet, and I'm a little bit mind blown. I was telling people in my reader group on Facebook that I was, like, truly a little bit shocked here, but I'm incredibly grateful at the same time. And, as you would know it, two of the readers already came back with their remarks about the story, which they both loved it. In fact, the second one asked me if I was considering writing a sequel, which, to be frank, I hadn't actually considered writing a sequel, but A Star Story is really cool. I do admit that. I think it's pretty unique myself, and it's, you know... I think it's a cool little horror story, but I'm surprised by the feedback I've already gotten, and honestly, I hadn't considered writing a sequel for it. Originally, A Toddling Mystery was supposed to be a short story for a horror collection, but my publisher had to cancel that and went ahead and reverted the rights, so I just went ahead and published it myself, because why not, right? Now, if you don't know already, it is on pre-order, so you can go pick it up right now if you're interested. How about we take a little gander at the cover, and um, maybe I'll read you guys a little snippet, or the blurb. Hmm. There she is, y'all, for pre-order right now. for publication on September 20th. A Toddling Mystery When a mysterious little girl, Ostar Bryn, is found wandering alone in the woods, she is taken in by a kind so social worker named Aubrey. Unable to have children of her own, Aubrey yearns for a family. Astara, however, is not your ordinary little girl. And strange, unexplainable things begin happening around her, sparking Aubrey's concerns as it becomes clear Ostara is not afraid to resort to dangerous measures to protect those she loves. When a child escapes the agency, Aubrey discovers her boss, Ingrid, is a child trafficker working with a network of elite psychopaths seeking to curate psychic children whose blood is rumored to be more powerful. Ostara knows that she must stop Ingrid, even if it means sacrificing her own life. In a gruesome and bloody finale, the agency's crimes are brought to light. But will Aubrey live to see a life of happiness? And can Ostara find normalcy despite her strange ability? If you like things like The Wicker Man, Imaginary, or The Skeleton Key, if you're fascinated by pagan ritualistic horror, or you like folklore about beings that might not be spoken about that much, unique cryptids, and stories about government agencies coming to light about their truly nefarious practices, this might be a story you need to read. So, head on over and get in Toddling Mystery. It's on pre-order now, available this fall, just in time for Halloween.